When you right-click any object in the workspace, a drop-down menu lists useful actions that are relevant to the selected object. This is called a context-sensitive menu. I've got lots of different objects here, and if I right-click this rectangle, for example, the top of this drop-down menu allows me to perform actions only relevant to a rectangle. Likewise, as I right-click each object here, the menu options displayed are all customised to the usual actions performed with that particular object, whether it's text, or a circle, or rectangle, or quick shape, straight lines, lines drawn with a brush, and even in this case, a shadow. There are other options farther down each menu that are useful for other objects too. So here I can see actions such as Arrange and Export that I can apply to lots of different objects. But basically the actions listed near the top are the most commonly applied to a rectangle, the selected object. Similarly, if I right click a photo here, you can see again that while some of the menu options displayed apply only to photos, others are similar to the actions you can perform on a rectangle. And here, at first glance, this looks like a photo. When I right click, now I can see that it is in fact a group with the photo outline, this rectangle with a grey line, and this photo grouped together. And you can see that the top four actions of this menu are applicable only to groups. You can also right click both the page and pasteboard to see a menu of page and pasteboard related operations that you can apply. If you select more than one object and right click, the menu lists actions specific to multiple objects such as group, align, apply clip view and combine, as well as the common operations such as cut, copy and delete. It's recommended that you right click any object or multiple objects in the workspace to use the menu specific to those objects. Once you've done this a few times, you get to know which actions you can quickly perform with right-click menus.